European MP Peter Temple Morris has resigned from the Conservative Party and will now sit as an independent. His resignation came after party managers withdrew the parliamentary whip. One week after he told his constituents he couldn't stand as a Conservative at the next election unless European policy changed. The effective sacking of Mr Temple Morris followed a disastrous night for the Tories in the Winchester by-election and a slump in their vote at Beckenham. Our chief political correspondent John Sargent reports. Liberal Democrat, 37,000. It was an unexpected by-election sensation. A knife-edged result at the general election within months turned into the biggest Liberal Democrat majority in the country. The Tory defeat could hardly have been more humiliating. And at Beckenham in Kent, a once rock-solid Tory seat was only just retained. The Tory leadership didn't wait to catch breath. They went ahead with their plan to remove the Conservative whip from the pro-European MP Peter Temple Morris. And he took this to mean he was no longer wanted in the Conservative Party. Well, I think the by-elections uh, show that the Conservative Party is in very deep trouble, reiterated, I believe, by the way that they have uh, treated me. I think that the Conservative Party has got to be forward-looking in its policy towards Europe. I believe that the policy of not being, of being nationalistic and inward-looking, uh, are traits which increasingly the public don't want. Three weeks ago, Mr Temple Morris announced he'd told Tony Blair he was on the brink of joining Labour. But it was a statement he made last week to his constituency association which proved the last straw for the Tory leadership. Unless the policy against a single currency was changed, he said he wouldn't stand as a Tory at the next election. He was continually saying he might go and join another party, he might leave the Conservative Party, he might decide one month, he might decide in another year. It's like having a football team where one of the players says, at half time I might go over and play for the other side. That's just not acceptable. But one of the most prominent pro-Europeans, now on the back benches, attacked the decision. For the former Deputy Prime Minister, it was undesirable and unnecessary. And he reopened his attack on the new policy of ruling out a single currency for at least ten years. I served John Major when he tried to preserve a balance within the party. And I think that uh, it's a very important thing to do, particularly in opposition. We don't know what the events of the next three or four years are going to do and one was to try to keep the party as unified as possible. Good morning. Thank you ever so much indeed. Thanks a lot. The Liberal Democrats on a lap of honour in Winchester are enjoying the clear signs that the Tories, with their divisions on Europe, are still firmly out in the cold. A very bad night for the Tories. Taken with Beckenham, Tories have been really shown that they have nowhere near winning the trust of the British people. Rock-solid Tory seat now with a rock-solid Liberal Democrat majority. Labour lost their deposit in Winchester, having made little attempt to persuade their supporters not to vote tactically for the Liberal Democrats. But they were a close second in Beckenham. Senior Tories have no illusions about the depths of their difficulties. Those close to Mr Haig are convinced that just as Labour did, they will have to persuade voters they've understood why they went wrong and that they've changed. They have no intention of softening their line on Europe and there are no regrets in the leadership camp that Mr Temple Morris has said goodbye. John Sargent, BBC News, Westminster. Police are investigating a number